in last video we have discussed about venus in the eighth house of the horoscope in this video we are going to dive deep into the eighth house with mars so keep watching namaste and welcome to pramanic astrology channel i am your host prasad mahajani help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of vedic astrology if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing you'll be getting vedic astrological videos just like this one and these videos will help you go further faster into vedic astrological studies if you have any question put your question into the comment section of the youtube videos i read all the comments and i try to reply to almost all the comments if you have any question you can also add me on instagram at pramanic astrology i read all the dms and i try to reply to almost all the dms if you want to know more about jupiter transit you can go and watch my video on jupiter transit into the sagittarius but if you want to know more about the effects of this transit through the three nakshatras in the sagittarius i have shared a link into my community tab just go and watch the video wherein we will discuss about the effect of this transit through these three nakshatras let's discuss what is mars in the 8th house mars the first thing which comes to my mind when i think of mars is strength mars is all about strength physical strength as well as emotional strength mars shows and signifies the literal blood competition war aggression all these can be signified by mars surgeries accidents can also be seen with mars mars is your life force mars is the strength okay now this mars is coming into the 8th house 8th house is the house of occult mysticism diving deep into certain subjects going to the depth is about the astrology psychology is about things buried underground which you cannot see is about the oil is about the government taxes is about ups and downs birth and rebirth sudden gains and losses eighth house brings in transformation in one's life eighth house is also the house of your sex reproduction and life force eighth house is the house of cells eighth house is the house of joint assets eighth house is second to the seventh house second house is the house of wealth and second to the seventh is the wealth with your partner so eighth house is the house of joint assets with your partner eighth house also represents your in-laws second house is the house of family second to the seventh is the family of your marriage partner which is what your in-laws eighth house is also the house of secrecy now let us understand what are the effects when their martial energy comes into the eighth house i told you each planet brings in its flavor and element to the eighth house and try to decode the eighth house the mysterious eighth house right sun will come and light up moon will come and feel mercury will try to decode the patterns and will try to decode or demystify the eighth house with its intelligence venus will try to decode it with the love and harmony and now mars has come into the eighth house mars is about the strength so person with the mars in the eighth house will go directly into the eighth house things like occult mysticism things buried underground the, or the secret information can also be seen with the eighth house mars eighth house is the house of secrecy and mars is the planet of energy so now the person with the eighth house mars will go directly to the root of the secret and will try to understand try to expose try to reveal the secrets to himself first mars is the planet of strength 
and physical strength and all the vitality. The planet of strength and vitality is coming into the house of life force. Eighth house, you know, is the house of longevity and the planet of life force. Why Mars is the planet of life force? If you look at the Kalpurush Kundali, Mars represents the first house and the eighth house. First house is the house of your birth. You are, you are taking the physical body into this lifetime. Your experiences can be seen with the Mars in the first house. Because in the Kalpurush Kundali, Mars represents that fire that is life and also the death which is the Scorpio. Okay, that is why Mars is the planet of life force and stamina. So the person with the 8th house Mars has tremendous energy. He has energy you cannot imagine. This person have to take care of not to overindulge into adventurous activities. Why? Because the Mars energy is ready to go into the unknown. You ask them to bungee jumping, they will go. You ask them to river rafting, they will go. If you ask them to skydive, they will go. They will never think twice. Such is the impulsive energy. They have that confidence that they will get through the unknown. Eighth house is the house of secrecy as well as ups and downs and mystery. They are ready to take on. The Mars with the eighth house people are ready to take on and deal with that unknown ups and downs but sometimes it can be dangerous. So they have to take care not to involve into adventurous activities beyond certain limits. Mars in the eighth house is also accident prone, but now you know it. So you have to take care when you are driving. No rash driving for the Mars in the eighth house people. Eighth house is the house of secrecy and uh, Mars is the planet of the strength and willpower. So these people will dive deep straight away into the unknown and the secrecy. They want to know what's, what is occult is all about. These are the people who will start something physical like martial art, which is kind of spiritual as well as physical. They love it. They're ready to go and understand what, what, what this mystery is all about. Eighth house is also the house of the joint assets and Mars is the planet of the independence. So Mars feels uncomfortable. Mars doesn't like anything shared. So he is not comfortable with the shared asset. So he likes his own assets. So he is ready to take on and create his own wealth. But he doesn't like the shared wealth. Eighth house is the house of sexuality and Mars is the planet of passion. The planet of passion comes into the house of sex. So these people have tremendous sexual drive. These have one of the strongest sexual drives. Mars can aspect fourth place away from where it is placed in the normal seventh house aspect and the special 8th house aspect. So when Mars is placed into the 8th house, it will aspect the 11th house with the 4th aspect, 2nd house with the 7th aspect and the 3rd house with the 8th house special aspect. When Mars aspects the 11th house of the horoscope with the 4th house, it energizes the 11th house of gains networking. Okay, but here is the thing. Mars is an independent planet and he doesn't like to network at all. Networking is more about the resonating signification with Mercury or Venus or maybe Moon to a certain extent. But Mars is an independent planet, so he doesn't like to network. So this Mars can really bring in the arguments with the friends. And these arguments can be regarding the 8,000 things or 
anything to do with the 11th house things of the networking social issues or larger organizations and the friend circle from the eighth house it also aspects the second house so when mars aspects the second house second house is the house of finances more than finance second house is also the house of the food you eat and when the second house is aspected by the mars from the eighth house it makes person crave for spicy food or non-vegetarian food from the eighth house mars aspects the third house of the horoscope with its eighth aspect this is the ultimate eighth house third house is eight places away from the eighth house and now mars is aspecting with its eighth aspect to this house so the mars is energizing the third house of siblings writing communication this makes a person extremely courageous and competitive the person with the eighth house mars believes in himself and his efforts third house is the house of self effort and mars is the planet of energy and strength and initiating things so the person is extremely competitive he likes to compete and beat others yes this was mars as much as i could hold grasp and share if you are new to the vedic astrology what to watch next go and watch how to get started into vedic astrology or my series on rising signs or retrograde planet series or planets through houses series you can go and watch these see or playlist to get started into vedic astrology sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace